Something I hadn't even thought about, which is the fact that there is a distinction between doing publicity for someone who is maybe African American, maybe Latino American, or Latin American, or maybe just someone of a different race, right? Mm -hmm. One thing you pointed out is, well, you know, when you do the comparison, the contrast between folks of Latin descent and African Americans, they're very different, you know, there's a very different um, conduits mm -hmm. for publicity mm -hmm. and promotion. Or in, in comparison, I think you had said in the Latin community, there are about five different outlets where you can promote and they promote what they, their people are doing. But in the African American space, is maybe half of that, if not a third, right? So can you expand on that a little bit? Well, just in terms of comparing uh, African American media and Latin American or Latin media, um, certainly there's Telemundo, there's Univision, there's a couple of other um, nationally distributed channels, cable networks that target the Latino community. Um, for our African American community, we have BET and TV One in terms of nationally, you know, broad, nationally distributed channels. Um, the Latin community, just and this is just ter in terms of experience. When I've done junkets, um, a couple of projects I've worked on had... Um, well, like let's, let's go back, because I think, you know, junket is a term of art, and there may be people watching this from... Idaho, Kentucky, mm -hmm. the foothills of Virginia. Who knows, right? And um, and they may not know what a junket is, right? Okay. So what's a junket? A junket is a press opportunity where if I have a TV or a film and I want to expose it to as many outlets as possible, I will hold a, and when I say I, I mean the studio or network will create a one-day or two-day PR opportunity where they are inviting press from all around the country print, online, broadcast, radio, to literally have their talent and their producers, directors sit in a room all day and just do round-robin interviews with a variety of press in 10-minute segments. Okay. So you're probably, for if you're a talent or, or director, you're doing maybe, you know, 50 interviews in a day with a variety of outlets. And they frequently, depending on the project, will invite black outlets, black media outlets, and Latino outlets if the cast or the storyline um requires. Got it, got it. Okay. And what I've experienced, um, and certainly throughout my career, um, there's certainly a broader, uh, there are just more Latino outlets out there, probably because they're backed either by corporate entities or coming from South America, they're funded and they have an American presence. You um, said drug money from South America? No, I didn't say drug money. Don't, uh, I don't, don't just, quote I'm me, just, but I'm again, just, who I'm knows how they're I'm funded. Just, I'm just teasing. That's a <laughs> but, joke. That was but, just a joke. I just, but, uh, but they definitely have more outlets. Some of them are originating from South America, and they have an you know have a, a U.S. outpost. Um, and our African, the numbers of our African American media, um, partly due to, to economic challenges and not being backed by corporate entities um, like the mainstream publications are. Um, so we just don't have as many. Yeah. Um, and I've just have seen it where you know the Latino uh, actors will have you know four or five or six rounds of interviews, and our African American actors don't have as many. Um, and that's again for a variety of reasons. Um, but what was the original question? No, no, no. I was just trying to get a context, get, give give the audience context as yes, to what a junkie what, is. Yeah, yeah, not just junkie, but what publicity uh, conduits exist for people of color vis-a-vis -vis other people right. and how do you leverage that properly? Right. You know, and, there, and to that point, there have right. been articles recently. Um, a couple of independent blogs have posted articles certainly about the challenge of either being a black press outlet and trying to get access to black talent at a junket or at a premiere party. And we don't necessarily take care of our own, service our own talent and or media on either side. So you well see that. Do. So you're saying you see a pattern of us not, quote unquote, like, like um, working together in this space as people of color, as African Americans, where you vis a vis other cultures, you see them doing more to support each other. It's a little bit of both. Certainly, um, again, some of the outlets are funded, have more financial support, so mm -hmm. they're able to send a reporter okay. to a junket, to a red carpet event. Um, a lot of our outlets, our African-American outlets, are independently owned, so they don't have a big corporate entity the financing them. Um, and it's also, again, as these articles pointed out, and certainly I've seen it as well, you know, 
we on the black media side, those newspaper, online, radio outlets, um, don't always cover, you know, they'll cover the big stars as we all want, you know, big stars to get attention as a publicist. I want a big my big star to get, you know, as many outlets as possible, but it's for the up and coming actors, producers and writers who don't necessarily get that support um, because they don't have a big enough name, their project's not big enough. Um, but that really does help someone's trajectory as they're trying to, again, expand their awareness in the business. So it's just, so it's, it's, it's a challenging time. Mr. Jay Christopher, protect the righteous for Mr. Man's strength.